welcome to go learning point tutorial so in this session we're going to discuss about the features uh, those were added uh, in Oracle 12c for the development purpose so there are a lot many other features those were added for the DBA purpose as well but in this particular session we're going to discuss few of the features few of the important features those are added for the development purpose so the first feature that we have in Oracle 12c is increased column size limit so before 12c whenever we wanted to declare any variable uh, the maximum size limit uh, was uh, that is the 4000 bytes of records in a varchar 2 or n varchar 2 uh, data types right and there was no extended parameter for it so that's the maximum limit we can store in oracle 11g version but in Oracle 12C, uh, other than the standard, there was the extended parameter as well that you can increase that 4,000 bytes of record to 32,000, 32767 bytes of data for varchar 2 and varchar 2 or any raw data type. Okay, so for that purpose, that's a standard limit was still 4,000 bytes. But if you want to extend it, you can just extend it in uh, initialization parameter file. So there's an init.ora file that is our initialization file. There you'll have to change the parameter to make it to standard uh, standard size limits to increase it to 32,000 bytes of data. Now, once you have set that limit, you cannot roll back. So that's the limitation we have in Oracle 12c that once you have changed your settings in init.ora.file, to extended size limit you cannot change it back so that initialization parameter is uh, max string size that you'll have to define in a initialization parameter file that is our init.ora file so by default it will be standard that is our 4000 bytes of records and then if you want to extend it you will have to uh, set it to extended version for the larger sizes so this will be 32,000 bytes of record second once you have set it you can't reverse it you cannot roll back the changes that you have done in your init.ora file so once you have done the changes here once you have changed that particular parameter to extended version what you'll have to do you'll have to restart your database and that parameter will be visible throughout your database second feature that we have is uh, approximate count so what it is so if for example if I want to get the uh, distinct name from an employee table and I want to get the count of distinct name from employee table so what I would be writing uh, what would be my SQL query is would be something like select count and then inside the parenthesis I'll be writing distinct name from employee okay but in Oracle 12c to fulfill this purpose they have given a function for approx count so here you just need to add this approx count distinct function instead of writing this count distinct so your query will be uh, something like select this and inside this you'll have to pass the column name and from employee so this is my predefined functions that they have added in oracle 12c and this would be uh, much faster than this particular query now let's check this uh, practically so I have this table uh, so let me just show you what we have in this table is uh, nine records and let me just paste both the queries here and see what would be the output so if you see I have eight distinct record with this query and this is also going to give me the same result because that we have that we have in oracle tells as a feature to get the count distinct of that particular column from any table so if you want to get the approximate uh, count from a table then use this function instead of this now the next feature that we have is uh, rule limiting with the uh, top end queries so for this they have provided uh, these clauses that is fetch first 
next and the percent so the fetch first is if I want to get uh, the first five lines or first ten records from a table then I can use this uh, fetch first ten okay if I want to get if I want to skip three first three records and first five records and then I want to uh, display next five records skipping the first five records and then displaying the next five records I can use this uh, next keyword similarly if I want to get the 50% of the data from a table or 30% of the data of a table then I can use this percent keyword so let's see how uh, all these three keywords that they have introduced in Oracle Tulsi works practically so I'll take an example of a table uh, the same table that we have and let me just show you what data we have in this table so if I want to get the first five records from this table I can use the first uh, first keyword that they have introduced in Oracle Tulsi so my query would look like select asterisk from table and the fetch first five rows only and let's see what we'll get from this query is the five records from employee table okay now if I want to skip uh, the first three records and then I want to display next five records for that purpose I can use next keyword that we have in Oracle Chelsea so my query would look like uh, select asterisk from employee offset three so this particular keyword will skip three records the first three records uh, and then we'll fetch next five records from the table okay now let's just try to execute this and see what we would get as a result so if you see it has skipped the first three records and displaying the next five records similarly you can change here that I want to display next eight records and I want to skip first five records let's just try to execute this okay so it eight records were not there there were only uh, four records after skipping the five records so it has displayed four records now if I want to display 50% or 40% of the data from a table so I can use the percent keyword okay so query would be similar to fetch first five rows only it's just that I need to use percentage here so first 50% rows only so if you want to display the 50% of the data from employee table I have nine records my query would look like select asterisk from employee fetch first 50% rows only now let's just try to execute this so it has displayed me five records okay now let's just change this to 10% it has displayed me one record that is 10% of the total number of employees in this table if I will do 100% that is going to display the, all the records from that table so I have got all nine records from that table next feature that we have is uh, the JSON support in the database so now uh, after Oracle uh, in Oracle Tulsi or uh, after Oracle Tulsi you can store you can actually store JSON values uh, JSON values in the Oracle database Oracle database column and you can just use them just like any other string variables okay. so the next feature that we have is literal clause for inline views so let's check it out how uh, this literal keyword works practically so I'll be using the same table uh, employee table here so what I've done in this query I am uh, fetching the ID name department from employee table and then I have used this inline view where I'm fetching department name from this department table and where the department ID is equal to my employee table department ID okay so uh, let's just try to execute this and see if this query works or not so we have got the error that e dot department ID invalid identifier because I have used the inline view and inside that inline view I am referring to a table column that I have used here okay so you cannot do this in Oracle 11 G version or in Oracle 12 C also so to fulfill that purpose you can use lateral keyword that will actually make this particular uh, variable visible to my inline view and those queries will just work like correlated subqueries 
okay so let's just try to add that literal keyword just before this inline view and that will become my correlated queries okay so I have added this keyword now let's just try to execute this so if you see I have got the result here now so what this literal keyword will do will make this inline view a correlated query and will uh, make these variables from the outer table this particular table will be visible inside uh, the sub queries as well so those will work like a correlated queries now now the next feature that we have is uh, the partial join evaluation that is PGE so why they have introduced it earlier when we were using uh, the in keyword in, in the exist keywords so these are just for the comparison purpose both are going to do the same thing but if you are going to run uh, your query with in clouds and the exist clouds in Oracle LG if you check the execution plan of both the queries where I have used in clouds and the exist clouds those are going to be different okay but in Oracle 12c there's a call uh, there's a concept called partial join evaluation so they have just uh, set a a better optimization parameter that both of these queries if I have used in and exist in my query both are going to perform in a similar way so Oracle will be going to generate the same execution plan if you have used in or if you have used exist now the next feature that we have in Oracle Delsi is cascade truncate so what is it uh, for example if you have a table and uh, if you have a foreign key relationship with the two tables now if you're going to delete some records from parent table the Oracle is going to throw error that there are already child records exist corresponding to these records right and then what you will have to do you'll have to delete those records from the child table first and then you'll be able to remove the records from parent table okay but in Oracle Tulsi we have this cascade feature while truncating the table and if you mention that cascade while truncating the table in the parent table uh, so if you're deleting it let's say if I have my parent table as A and my child table as B and if you're truncating the table A truncate table A and after that you're mentioning the cascade keyword it will automatically remove all the records from the child table also so Oracle is not going to throw any error but for that purpose your child table definition when you have created that table must be having uh, the delete cascade on delete cascade of that particular parent table okay so let me just show you one of the example and I have this table that is report summary meter detail and I have a, a parent table report summary detail so this is my child table report summary meter detail let me just show you uh, the SQL for this table so this is my SQL you just focus on uh, the foreign key part that is my constraint on report summary meter detail FK1 and this constraint is created on report summary detail table that is my parent table on detail ID and I have written this uh, statement here delete on delete cascade enable so if this particular option is enabled and if I delete anything from the parent table their child records will also be deleted so what does it mean that if I fire a truncate command on this table the corresponding records from report summary meter detail will also be removed okay so let me just show you what I have uh, this table so this is my parent table report summary detail I have these records and the child table I have these records so if I simply uh, fire a command truncate table and my parent table what will happen so Oracle is going to throw me this error that there is already a foreign key relationship between this report summary detail and report summary meter detail and you'll have to remove uh, the records from child table first okay so 
in Oracle 12C, you have a feature that while truncating the parent table, just mention cascade truncate. Now, if you just try to execute this, so this is going to remove everything from the parent table and child table as well. So if you see the message, the table, this is truncated. Now, if you verify the records in these tables, so all the records are gone from parent table as well as from child tables. So this is what we have in Cascade Truncate, uh, where you can remove all the records from parent table without knowing the relationship between the child tables. So if you just mention this keyword, this is going to remove all the records from parent table and all its child tables as well. So when you are working in the production database, please use this command very carefully. Okay. So we are going to discuss the uh, rest of the features uh, in our next session. And thanks for watching my tutorial and like, share and subscribe to get more updates.